do you believe that artificial intelligences can achieve the same human-like qualities that we've discussed, and should those intelligences be afforded comparable moral worth? I'll let you tackle that first. Um, um, well, yeah. My, I'm, what my, about robots? My tentative, my, my tentative answer is yes, but first I have to get sort of clear about what the, the, the question is exactly. So by um, an artificial intelligence, you might just mean some um, machine that has been built by humans that performs very intelligently at, um, uh, for instance, Go, can beat the world Go champion, or to take another example, Jeopardy, when the, the IBM computer uh, Deep Blue beat out um, Ken Jennings. Um, okay, if that's what you mean, then I don't think there's any um, prospect anytime soon of some, uh, some artificial intelligence um, being, as it were, the genuine article and um, being the subject of mental states in the way that that, um, that we are. If, on the other hand, you mean by artificial intelligence, some intelligence, some creature with a, a mind, say a creature that's also uh, conscious, but that's not biological, it's not composed of uh, cells, but maybe constructed out of silicon chips or something, um, could there be such a creature, whether or not the creature was actually made by designers or anything like that, um, then yes, I think there could be such a creature. I don't think the, our particular biological substrate is essential to um, having a mental life. Um, in which case, um, the answer would be yes, that, okay. that this artificial creature could, should be accorded the same rights as the rest of us. Okay, same question. Um, I think it's very important when you look at uh, Big Blue beating the world's chess grandmasters, or you look at the computer that uh, uh, beat the world's best Go player, to realize that by the rules of the game, these computers cheated. And l let me explain to you what I mean by that. When you play top-level chess, one of the things you are not allowed to do is to write down your moves or the moves of your opponent. You have to play without notes. By definition, a computer in its memory has stored previous moves and therefore, in effect, has things written down, the histories of many other games. Uh, you, in a chess game, you're not allowed to open a chess manual and see how various opening positions have worked out. The computer has that programmed into its memory. But, now, is, it, but is there something intrinsic that's right. going to prevent computers or artificial life okay. from reaching the same level of consciousness, okay. self-consciousness? I'll, I'll get to it in a good point. What the computer, in effect, is doing is playing by a, a, a different set of rules in a very limited arena and absolutely excelling at it to the point where it can beat human capabilities. Uh, one of the reasons that Watson was so good at Jeopardy was not just because it knew more than Ken Jennings because it had him written down in its memory, but also because its reaction time was in milliseconds and it kept beating Mr. Jennings to the buzzer, uh, even though he many times knew the right answer. So these feats of AI are in a very restricted area. Um, for those of you who, who wonder, are we going to be able to build computers that, in effect, replicate the mind of man? Um, I'd urge you to look at a New York Times op-ed less than a year ago. My name is Kenneth Miller. My middle initial is R. I'm sorry, I have a very common first and last name. There's a neuroscientist at Columbia named Kenneth D. Miller, as in Kenneth David Miller. He's the one who wrote this article. And he wrote about the incredible improbability that we will ever be able to build a computer for physical reasons that even comes close to what the brain can do. And I'll give you an example. In addition to the 70 billion or so neurons in the brain, which have a whole variety of connections, there are cells that cross, that cross activate neurons known as astrocytes. An individual astrocyte in the human brain, a single cell, can have as many as 200 million connections. The idea of being able to model this in a physical computer is almost beyond description. So my short answer is, in very defined arenas, we're going to be able to build computers that can do a very specific thing better than us. But in terms of overall intelligence, in terms of being able to approach what a human being can do, no, I don't You're think skeptical. so. 
So I'm very skeptical of that. And then secondly, no, I do not think it would be a moral act to unplug that computer.